515 is just it's nothing because by the time they cut you from taxes and stuff like that it's hard but you know you get used to it I manage you know shoes are extra you know uh, a $40 pair of pants is a day's pay you know so that's things people take for granted you know, change in a car sometimes looks real good. <laughs> hey, 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 got the early Monday morning working blues. I put on my ragged, worn out working shoes. Oh, well, the weekend was too short, but I can't choose. When the Lord made the working girl, Minimum wage isn't that much, and it, it's either, you know, you work like a dog for like nothing and never get to enjoy anything. You never get to see the benefit of your money, you know, or, you know, you work enough to barely make it and like never be home or, you know, just be extremely poor and <laughs> never have anything at all. For one thing, at the end of every day, you wonder if you've got enough gas to make it home. You hope you don't have a flat tire. You hope nobody gets sick, especially you, because on a minimum wage job, you have no insurance. Plus, you have, if you miss a day's work, you're going to miss a day's pay. And so you can't be sick. You can't do without that day's pay. You know, you have to you have to make that hundred and fifty dollars a week just to make your bills. What we call underemployment or working poverty is become more of a problem than unemployment. That people who are poor because they don't get enough income, not because they don't have a job, uh, has become a far greater problem over the last twenty years than just simple unemployment people were working 40 hours a week and not making enough money to live on. And uh, minimum wage uh, is not a living wage. And we had several community meetings and during one of those meetings then uh, the, a living wage was brought up and there was actually a survey done in Letcher County to determine what the living wage was. I think that was in 1999 and it worked out to be $10.89. I remember we were at work and we were kind of discussing the fact how we would all like to be making that much, you know, a lot more money than what we were making, but also the fact of worrying if our jobs would, we'd still have a job, if uh, our business could stay open and pay us because our bosses was telling us there was no way that they could pay us $7.50 an hour and stay in business. We tried to go with the federal poverty guidelines and, and, um, and came up with a compromise amount that we thought would actually pass the fiscal court and um, settled on $7.50 an hour. I hope you guys enjoy your term in office this time around because I don't think you'll be back there again. Remember that over 80% of the people in Electric County work for less than $6 an hour. The guys who are at the meeting... I'm not able to afford to go to the doctor if I'm sick. I've got no extra money for vacations or anything. If my children go to college, they go on financial aid. I commend Mr. Smith on his By efforts... By an irresponsible like proposal to the fiscal court, this kind of behavior makes Letcher County a laughingstock throughout Kentucky. It's clear to anyone... I just wanted to say, you go, Judge Smith. This $7.50 minimum wage is a great idea for Letcher County. I just hope the magistrates have enough sense to go along. Well, when I first started, I was just a clerk, quote unquote, bag boy, whatever you want to call it. But uh, recently, uh, about a month ago, I took over as the frozen food manager. Yes, there is one. Being it's my family business, I know it means so much to my family does to my stepdad and my mom so that's why um, it means it means a lot to us because I mean if this store shut down there'd be a lot of everybody in my family would be out of a job practically if people manage their money well and I think if people that uh, need 
higher paying jobs should uh, go seek those out, you know, whether it be in the coal mines or in another city, another town, whatever it be. If they need something more, then they should go find something better. Your children are having to leave here to go to other places to live to make $8 an hour. If more people were staying in the area and making $7 an hour, more money would be spent in our area, which would supply more jobs for our area. Because if you don't have family, if I was like in Lexington or somewhere and didn't have anybody, I don't know. I, I, there's a possibility that I could make it because, you know, they don't pay minimum wage there. You know, I might can actually find a job to do with my degree. You know, I have two degrees and I can't find a job. That's, that doesn't even sound likely. I know a lot of people, a lot of businesses in this area say they cannot afford to pay people more than what they are paying them. And I think this way, if all your employees at the end of the month are having to sign up on food stamps and you're not, you're still making good pay. You know, if all of your employees can't afford medical care, and you do, you're still making good pay. My boss said a raise is due most any day. But I wonder, will my hair be all turned gray? Before he turns that dollar loose and I get my lose a little bit of these words.